Hey guys, Aloha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, how you doing? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So today I will be showing you the ultimate glowy makeup video. This has been requested by you guys. Um, summer's coming up. Actually, summer's already here. And I wanted to film it for you guys before I'm too late. So yeah, we went with a more like sexy sultry look, but glowy. Of course, that's the whole point of the video. Um, I did my neck, my chest, my decolletage area, my face, of course, and everything just balances out and looks great. So yeah, if you want to learn how to get this look, please stay tuned. But before we get started, you guys know the drill. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. First thing I did was moisturize and hydrate my face that is very 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 important especially for glowy skin you do not want dry and cracked skin and you also want to exfoliate the night before or even the morning of just to get off all the dead skin cells off your face so you can have a smoother and more glowy application so now that I went ahead and moisturized and prepped my skin I'm gonna go straight into the first step I'm not using a primer today and the reason why is because the product that I'm about to use is going to act as a primer for my face the only thing I will be using is a little bit of my Dermalogica Hydro Blur primer just on my nose and cheek area just in case I have any pores I want them to be filled in with this it's gonna take like literally the smallest amount like that's all you need I'm just gonna apply that here and here Next, I'll be going in with my Huda Beauty Nymph Liquid Highlighter. This is a body highlighter, but you can use it on your face. This is in the shade Luna. It is the lightest shade, and I'll be applying this all over my face, neck, and decolletage. You have to shake this up really well. I've made the mistake of... Ow! I've made the mistake of not shaking it, and it came out very, like, clumpy and weird. Now apply it with my hands. Two pumps. Take it down to my neck. You look like a good girl ball. evenly spread that out everywhere that will be showing don't forget the backs of your shoulders because you don't want the front to be all glowy and then the back just be like blank <laughs> So now that we're glowing and we look so healthy, we're going to go in with the next step and we're going to do things a little backwards here today. I'll be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer now to conceal and highlight all the areas that I need to conceal and highlight. <laughs> I actually like to conceal my entire nose, you guys know the drill. I'm going in with a beauty blender. I'm just gonna blend this all out. I'll be going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade 
Honey, and I will be contouring just my nose, nothing else, just my nose. Just take a little bit of this on the back of my hand, like the tiniest, 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 tiniest amount, like that. I'm going to use that little bit to contour my nose. Now I'll be going in with my Chalk Dust Setting Powder by the Crayon Case in the shade C to set my under eye and areas that I concealed. I'm not baking it, I'm just applying a small amount of powder to set this. Also gonna set my eyelids. And just dust off any excess powder that you may have on your face. And press this in. So now you're very glowy and you're concealed, so that's good. Now I'm going to go in with my Temp2 AirPod Pro and my Perfect Canvas Foundation in the shade 4 Nude, I believe, yeah. And I'm going to spray the foundation onto my face. I'm also going to do my neck, chest, and decolletage. There we go. So now our foundation is complete, our highlighter is complete, now we just have to contour and I'm going to be contouring with the Temp2 as well. And you can see how perfect and glowy your skin looks. And I intentionally left this area more glowy than my face and the reason for that is two, actually two reasons. One is because we highlighted and concealed most of the glow away, which is perfectly fine because we don't want shine all over our under eyes and all that area, at least I don't. And then also because once we add our other highlighter onto our face, everything is going to balance out and look awesome. So now off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows and then I'll be back to kind of apply my contour and all that other good stuff. Okay, so my eyebrows are filled and now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'll be using my Temp2 AirPod again. This is in the shade Caramel and it's also the perfect canvas foundation. I'm just going to move my hair. And truth be told, I have not been out in the sun in a very long time, so this contour is just a little bit too dark for me now. Next, I'm going to go in with my champagne highlighter by Temp2 as well and just highlight my face a little. Just like that.
And yes, our decolletage area is already very glowy and shiny, but I'm gonna add a little bit more right here and right here just to give it a little something. See that? I just love the way that looks. We're ready for our magazine shoot now. <laughs> and last but not least for the face, I'm going in with my pale pink blush. Ta-da! We're done with our face. So for my eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Doll 10 Pro Eyeshadow Palette number 2. I love how pigmented and beautiful these colors are. It's very like natural, neutral colors. And then it just goes on so nicely. It just blends out really, really beautifully. So I'll be going with this palette here. I'm going to go in with that burnt orange shade first. And then I'll deepen with the dark brown. And then this is the gold. So those are the three colors. And I'm taking this color all the way into my crease. Switching brushes to a smaller one and just bringing it out more because I want it to connect to my under eye. Now going into the smaller brush, I'm just going to apply that same shadow to my lower lash line and connect the two. Now going in with a smaller brush, I'm just going to apply this to the outer corners to deepen it a little bit more. Apply that dark brown shade to the lower lash line as well. Now going in with my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold, I'm going to apply this to my lids before I apply that gold shadow. Now go in with a gold shadow and apply that directly on top. I'm also going to be applying this to my lower lash line, just the inner corners. On my monitor, this brown eyeshadow looks a little purple, but it's not, which is really weird. So I hope that in this video it doesn't show up like that. And I'm gonna go in with that white shade from that palette and I'm gonna apply it to my inner corners and a little to my brow bone. Now going in with my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Coco, I'm just going to line my lids, but I'm not gonna wing it out and I'm gonna be using an angled brush to do this. I just like to pick up the color using an angled brush. And I'll be lining it. Using that small brush, I'm going to buff this into the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to line my waterline with that same Laura Mercier pencil. I went ahead and applied my Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara off camera because my camera was actually not recording. So um, that's what I have going on here. Now I'll be going in with my lashes. 
The lashes I'll be going in with are Lily Lashes in the style Sydney. And you can use my code Aloha to save. See how beautiful these lashes are? They're just so gorgeous. Again, you can use my code Aloha to save. I'm going in with my Reveal Beauty Mini Eyelash Curler to make them stick to my natural lashes. For lips, I'll be going in with my Morphe Brushes Lip Liner in the shade Love Bite. And I'll be going in with my Huda Beauty Power Bullet Lipstick in the shade Anniversary. And my P. Louise Makeup Academy Hala Lip Gloss. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. You see how glowy it is? I love a good highlight and I love it everywhere. So like this is perfect, especially for the summertime. If you're getting married, this is perfect for your wedding. If you are having a birthday party, this is perfect for a birthday. If you're going to the grocery store, this is perfect for a grocery store run because you can't let your haters catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And turn on the bell notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're not following me already, please go ahead and follow me on all my other social media outlets. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of that is at Makeup by Alaha. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for staying until the very end. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!